S4508XL STP oil filter replaces the PF66, which we have torn apart right behind us. So we'll be able to compare it to that. Now this one is very popular in my comments of other oil filter videos. And I can see why, because this looks like an amazing oil filter right here. Now we will cut this open. We will compare it to the PF66 in the back. But right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, I already really like this oil filter. This was $7.99. It was a little difficult to find, but um, I tracked it down and I got it. So it's got a nice finish to it. Looking right into it, we've got the plastic right there to keep the debris out of it. And inside, this is the only filter that I've seen in the PF66 range that has an actual bypass relief valve inside of it. So I'm curious to see what that's all about. Once we take this apart, we will cut this open, and compare it over there. But right off the bat, you can see the silicone seal right here, which uh, is already a fantastic little piece. So the reason why the silicone is better than the rubber one here is because it can withstand heat better and cold temperatures. This will be good for down to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't have the specs on what a rubber one can do, but it's nowhere near that. And comparing the, the two right there, you can see it looks like a much better filter right here. So let's go ahead and cut this guy open and we'll see what's inside. All right, this is it apart. I like to see that this spring was there. Spring holds the filter in place on the bottom. It keeps tension on the filter, pressing it up there. So it's gonna keep it from spinning and it's gonna keep it all together. Silicone anti-drain back valve. It's very firm as compared to the very loose and flexible rubber one from the PF66. Looking inside, we have the metal core which is super nice and there's large openings in there. PF66 has the plastic core, but this is very different from any other metal core that we've shown, like the UPF66R, which doesn't have these giant holes in there. So that's gonna have great flow, uh, just based off of looking at it. Let's get a measurement here. 51.92. You can see the, the difference in filter media of the PF66 versus this. This is a very nice, high quality feeling filter. Let's count the pleats. Fifty-five pleats on the STP versus sixty-five pleats on the AC Delco. Nice crimp here. Metal ends. 15 PSI pressure relief valve there. It's a very different design than what we've seen on the others. You push on that. So this is the only one with a spring-like pressure relief valve, which is very nice to see. And they say that uh, the specs are 15 PSI on that. But let's go ahead and cut this filter media off of here and then we'll string it out and see how long it is. All right, the filter media is 56 and a quarter inches long and it is a synthetic resin is what they're calling this. Let's go ahead and take a measurement though and see what we got. 0.81, let's go ahead and see, wow, what a difference in just grabbing this. 0 0.79, 0 0.81, 0 0.80, so it's roughly the same thickness. Feel-wise though, this feels like it's very flimsy and light, and this feels thick and a little bit more robust. I just, I really like everything about this filter, to be honest with you. It's definitely a great value with all the components that you get. Let me compare this to the UPF66R, just so I can show you what the holes mean. This is a typical metal core right here, and you can see the little louvers inside there. And this is actually a UPF66R core that I'm comparing it to, and you can see the holes here. So the flow is gonna be great through here, through this nice thick media. Now let's get into the media a little bit deeper, and they do say that it's a 15 gallon per minute flow rate. I don't have specs on the factory PF66, um, but it is a synthetic resin. 
is what they're calling this media. And now it is rated at 15 microns, but it's 99% multi-pass efficiency at 20 microns. So this works really well. It has a, an actual pressure relief valve built into it. And the case is sturdy, has the spring in there. I mean, this is an amazing filter to be honest with you. It's definitely one that's gonna be high up on my list. And um, I like what I see here.